Uh, good morning. We're over on our uh, single family site here today. One of the things we're doing today I wanted to show you is something a little bit unique. We're actually doing a curved gable end. So it's a bit of a heritage looking house and I've got a, a curved gable end with a curved piece of fascia going on it. The wood generally doesn't curve very easily <laughs> unless you don't want it to of course. But uh, we're going to show you today how we're going to do it. So we start first by building the base and we're actually going to roll that whole roof down and we're going to put the fascia on top of that. You can see it's started now. They're just up there. Just they first built the gable, then they're going to brace it, and then we're going to roll that plywood right on top of it, and then we'll front it with fascia. I'll show you how as we go here how we do it. That's yeah, not something everybody does, but uh, it sure is a nice feature on this house. Okay, so we're. Uh, putting our fascia together here. So what we're doing, we've actually got a curved piece cut out of a 2x12, so we'll, we'll bookend these pieces. So we only need to use two pieces. And what I'm doing is I'm uh, we've got a rough cut and I'm using a block sander to take all the high spots out so that curve is perfect. These are the details that you don't want to mess up. So we'll make it perfect and we'll show you when it's done. Okay, so we've got this piece smoothed out. You can see the radius on there is perfect. And we've got this piece ready to laminate to this piece. So we're actually going to crisscross this piece here. Crisscross this piece here so the blue's got something to bite on. And then we're going to drill some pilot holes and countersink them. And we're going to put some screws into here. And uh, then we'll put some pocket screws in the back to hold it together. And that way it never splits. The radius stays, stays true and it doesn't look bad. Like so many of these just don't look right. This one's gonna look perfect. Talk to you soon. This, again, this is the way everyone does it, the way we like to do it. So talk to you soon, show you when it's done. All right, we're back on the roof again. I'll show you what we've got set up. So now you can see underneath here, we've got our, uh, we've got our curved fascia cut. And what we've done is we've used two layers of plywood that laminated them together. And we've, we've cut that same radius as we've got in our fascia cut. And we rolled the plywood onto that so it actually curves down. So that our soffit will curve down and butt up against that end piece here. This piece of fascia we've got in here. And we can either, uh, we've got a couple of options on how to actually drain this roof off. But probably we'll just flash that up and have it come because it'll be hidden by the fascia in the front anyways. But at least now we've got some solid wood in there. You can see inside, I've got our piece laminated together, and I'll show you that in a minute. Here we go. Okay, we'll show you how we glued this fascia together to create this tail end, this curved tail end. So after we actually made sure that everything was perfectly smooth, we used an orbital sander and a, and a block with some heavier grip prior, prior to that. Then what we did is we actually drilled pilot holes through each side and sunk a three inch screw, a galvanized decking screw right through to kind of suck these pieces together. We used a PL glue, which is the same stuff that we glue our floors to our joists with. And we put it up on so that it would kind of bleed out. So it fills in all the gaps. And then what we've done after that is we've actually taken, taken a nail and some comb, uh, some like a rough cut piece of two by four, or plywood rather, and we've actually put that, this is called a comb fascia, so it's got this texture to it. We actually put that texture back in to any glue that came over. So it looks messy, but when this gets painted, it'll just disappear. And uh, you can see on the back, we've also put some pocket screws in there to hold the middle section together. And uh, you can see on this side here, we've got, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws three inch long holding these pieces together. This is a nice curved radius that we've sanded smooth and this is also a nice curved radius that we sanded smooth. We'll need to do a plum cut here. We use a level to do that once it's actually up. But basically, that's the back. This will be the front that we'll see from the street. And once that's painted, it'll go right on top of our framing which is right there. Tail end will hang over here and it'll look great. So curved fascia that's how we take straight wood and we make it round uh, without it uh, looking wonky or kinked or you see so many of these it look like a hockey stick on one end so that's the way we like to do it.
show you when it's up. Okay, well, almost last step here. We've actually got that piece that we made this morning, and we've got it up on the roof. So you can see we've got that piece that we built up on the roof there with the with the piece that we laminated on with the proper radius on it. You can see how it's nice and smooth. There's no kinks in it. It doesn't go up and curve up like you see. The, no hockey stick there. And the next step is to fit in that top piece. So we've got that the top of that piece cut on a 45 reverse angle. So we can just flunk that top piece right in like that. So, uh, uh, and then the last thing we've got to do is we've got to put a piece of, of 1x4 along the top of that for trim. What we end up doing is we take a piece of 1x12 and cutting that same radius into the 1x12. So we basically build this whole thing out of bigger pieces so that we can get those cuts in and not have to worry about any weird angles or funny shapes, but it's looking great. Okay, so the last part of making this fascia look perfect is to join the straight to the straight. So up and above the curb, the curve rather, we're joining in the, the straight upper fascia to the, the straight part of the lower fascia. Uh, and I'm the only way to actually see how that looks is to be across the street from the house. So I'm actually standing on the other side of the street telling these guys where it needs to go. And, and what we figured out is we need to push that middle joint out that way just a bit to make it look dead straight. So they're doing that right now for me. And uh, once it's done, it'll be perfect. So. Stuff like this you don't mess around on, you want to make sure it's right, because if it's not right it just looks so bad, at least in my opinion.